Hello, I'm Jordan and you're not, and this is my review on The Gallows. Now, I've been looking around on the internet, and there's like tons and thousands and millions and billions of hate uh, to, toward The Gallows. Well, like reviews and just, you know, critics saying that it's horrible and it has a 4.5 rating at Internet Movie Database, which I call MDBA. So, now, for every one million people that say it's bad, there's going to be one in a million that's going to try to say good things about it, which then that's going to be hard for me because people that already dislike it aren't going to watch my review and they're going to give me a dislike just because they didn't like the movie. Trolls. Now, personally, yeah, I really enjoyed this movie. I thought it was, you know, I'm nine times out of ten, I'm against found footage type movies like uh, like these right here. I thought I thought the gallows was better than this paranormal craptivity tripe. Why do I even have these? Alright. So yeah. When I first saw the teaser trailer for it, I didn't I didn't know what to make of it. It was just some girl in a red, dim lidded you know, hallway just sitting there crying and you kind of see someone back back there and I didn't know what I didn't know what the storyline was. Then they released the second trailer and I thought, hmm, it actually looks pretty interesting. So, yeah, this is probably the second found footage movie of this year that I enjoyed. The first being Unfriended, or also known as Cybernatural, which is still a much better title. Why didn't they call it that? Okay, so The Gallows. The, the story, uh, there's gonna, there might be some spoilers here for those that haven't seen it yet. So just, yeah, if you don't want to be spoiled, just give me a like and then go away. Matthew. Alright, so the story is that there's, in 1993, there's this uh, high school, Beatrice High School, which Beatrice is the name of my grandmother. May she rest in peace. So they're, they're at this high school, and it, the, they're, the, the drama class is putting on this play called The Gallows. And Ch Charlie is the part of the person that's, you know, going to be, you know, hung for whatever reason. I don't know, he's listening to Justin Bieber music back in the 1700s. Okay, and uh, so, yeah, they're, they're doing the thing, and he has this noose around him, and I guess, I guess it's supposed to be Charlie's parents recording it, and all of a sudden, boom, he's, you know, he's the, the thing, the floor beneath him, it just gives out, and he chokes to death, he dies. He did as shit. So then we cut to a mere 20 years later, 2013, which... Why did they say, like, 1995, 2015? Who gives a crap? Alright, so, yeah, 20 years later, we get the uh, our four main people that we're supposed to care for. Ryan, Reese, Pfeiffer, and Cassidy. Pfeiffer, like, Michelle's last name. So, Ryan is the annoying, obnoxious guy behind the camera most of the time. Reese is the, the jock, like, the football jock that was on the team, but that he wanted to be in the school place so he could get close to his crush, Pfeiffer. And Cassidy is just... I don't know, just, she's just there to look hot, I guess. Whatever. So, uh, let's see. Ryan, he goes around, just films stuff at, you know, around the school, just kind of getting the teachers, just kind of say, oh, they're, they're getting ready for this play that they're going to do after 20 years because the first one was such a tragedy, they just didn't, you know, want to do it. They still have the picture of the... Uh, the the, um, the the class that did it, you know, the, and then they had the picture of Charlie there with holding the noose. And so Reese, he, yeah, he doesn't really want to do the play at all. He's just there just to try to get with Pfeiffer. So Ryan comes up with this idea that they could break into the school at nighttime and then tear shit up because that's the only way to get women's attention. You got to tear crap up and then they'll be all over you. I don't want to tear crap up. Do not work. Yeah, I'm a badass. Okay, so yeah, they see Ryan sees this door that's like it leads out outside of school, and it doesn't lock at all. It's just just opens. It's like an old twenty, thirty year old door. And so he figures that they can get in that way and then get in, get out real quick. So he and Reese, Ryan and Reese, and, and Cassidy go at nighttime to destroy the gallows 
all the sets and the props and the stage and the and then you know somehow uh, see Pfeiffer is there and then they get somehow locked in that door that never locks is locked from the outside or there's a supernatural presence there and that's when it kind of starts to get creepy for me I mean just the I the idea of being in this abandoned dark school at nighttime with a ghost in there, I guess a ghost trying to kill you, that's creepy to me. That's why I like it. It's just, yeah, that, and I like the jump scares. A lot of people hate jump scares, which I'm okay with. The jump scares are pretty, you know, they get they get the adrenaline pumping, they get me, <sighs> they scare me. They scare me alive. Okay, so then, slowly, the Charlie, I guess, the, uh, the presence of the spirit that's still in the school because his, his body died there comes after them. So we need to get the uh, the Winchesters from Supernatural to go there and pour salt on Charlie's body and then burn him. That, that's how you do it. But that's what, what I learned from watching Supernatural. Okay, and there's a twist in the end which I'm not going to spoil or ruin for you. But, yeah, there's there's a lot of scenes in there that I just thought was done pretty well, done really, you know, it was, it was pretty creepy to me. It was it had some good, you know, a good scary vibe that I think it deserves more recognition, hopefully someday in the future. And then there, there, probably, there probably won't be a sequel, but I don't really see how you could make a sequel to this because of... But, yeah, this is, this is one of those movies, those found footage movies that I actually enjoyed. And I would give it a B plus. It was I still liked Unfriended better. I just the, the storyline because I like that one better. So in, in order, it's Unfriended, The Gallows, and then Paranormal Craptivity, I guess. Okay, I hope you liked my review. I hope you give me a thumbs up. I hope you write me in the comments. And tell me why why you liked it or why you didn't like it. Let's start a let's start a debate.